Hey, I'm Chef Kristen Grissom with the Culinary Institute of the Carolinas at Greenville Technical College. Today I'm going to teach you how to pipe buttercream roses. The first thing I'm going to do is a shell border. Shell border is piped with about a 45 degree angle. Squeeze that tip, pull back. Squeeze, pull back, squeeze, pull back. Okay. After we've got the shell border, we're going to make a rosette. Rosette is straight up and down, 90 degree angle on your bag. Start in the center, give it a good squeeze, come up, around, cover up your center, and finish to the outside. So you're finishing that circle, working your way out while you're releasing pressure on your bag. The third one is called a reverse shell, and it's putting the shell border and the rosette together. So we start in the center, like a rosette, around, down, like a shell border while we're releasing our pressure. Again, in the center, we connect them, back and forth to make our reverse shell border. For our roses, we're going to use a rose nail and a different tip. This is a 104, a petal tip. Again, any petal tip will work for this. First thing we want to do with our roses is we're going to build ourselves a base. So while holding our tip directly up and down, we're going to start to spin our, t our rose nail while we're piping. You can see it kind of makes this spiral pattern. It starts to build it up. Then we're going to go on top of that and we're going to spin it again until it has this kind of cone shape. Okay, then we're going to start about halfway up our base, squeeze, come to the center, twist, pull down, rotate backward. Single pedal with the tip straight up and down, second pedal, third pedal, and you can see how I'm overlapping each of these pedals. Now we're going to angle our tip backward by rotating our bag backward to make the next layer of petals. If we don't do this, our rose ends up looking like a cabbage, so we've got to allow those petals to bloom out. So again, we're going to start in the center and stop, come behind, we're rotating while we're piping. You can see how by angling that bag backward, I'm able to open those petals up. For the last layer of petals, I'm going to angle the bag backward again. Okay, and just come up and around the same way. Okay, and I've got my rows. Now I can hide all of those little joined pieces with some leaves. So this is a number 352 tip, very, very easy to use. And I just squeeze, pull out, and I've got leaves for my rows. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out our other Culinary Institute of the Carolina Quick Tips.